Taurus daw, Taurus. Taurus, kuya. Welcome mga katambay sa second episode ng Tambay Opinions Electric Scooter Adventures. Kung saan, pag-uusapan pa rin natin all about electric scooters, travel, at syempre, food adventures na rin. And kasama niya pa rin ang inyong resident tambayologist na si Uncle Jack na nag-iisa pa rin. For today's episode, as promised, eh, we will go ahead and review the race to rules from Motor EVP. So, start na natin yung intro para tuloy-tuloy tayo. And please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit mo na rin yung notification bell para updated ka lagi sa mga bago naming episodes. So, ano nga bang meron si Race Taurus? Starting from the right side of the handlebar, yung grip niya has a palm rest for that extra comfort. Right hydraulic brake lever din, for the front brakes. You also have your finger throttle which has a built-in display. It actually shows your speed and battery level. You can switch the display by pressing the power button. You can switch from odometer, trip meter, and voltmeter. You can also change the gear or speed from 1 to 3 by pressing the mode button. Since this is a dual hub scooter, eh, you'll have the button for single or dual din. You also have the button for eco or turbo. Pag naka eco mode ka, eh, limited ang speed mo to 30 km per hour regardless of the mode. Going to the left hand side, you'll find the switch for the headlights, signal lights, and horn. Have your left brake lever for the rear brakes. Lastly is the same grip with the palm rest. On the middle part, you'll find the folding mechanism for the handlebars. You can also adjust the stem height. You just need to loosen the quick release latch then pipindutin mo lang dito. Hindi ko alam talaga kung anong tawag dito eh. Baka alam nyo katambay, please comment down below. Meron siyang three levels of adjustment. We also have here the dual UD7 lights. At the front part of the scooter naman is your dual telescopic fork. Which makes it really comfortable even on bumpy roads. It comes with an 11-inch tubeless off-road tire you also have the rotor with the front zoom hydraulic brake. You also have the 2800 watt front motor. On the deck part, you'll find the folding mechanism for the scooter. A large deck. Lilinawin ko lang, large deck with grip tape and side lights for that extra visibility which can also be turned on via the headlight switch on the left hand side of the handlebar. You also have dual charging port on the right side and the kickstand on the other side. The deck also houses the 60 volts 18 AH battery along with two Cinewave 45 amps controller. Going to the rear part, you have your rear hydraulic suspension, the brake lights, and the signal lights. You also have your rear zoom hydraulic brake, rotor, 11 inches tubeless off-road tires and another 2800 watt motor. So, ano nga bang specs ni Race Taurus? According sa manual, this weighs around 35 kilograms. So, medyo mahirap siyang buhatin or mabigat siya compared sa mga Xiaomi's, motors or any small scooters na available sa market ngayon. It also has a maximum capacity of 150 kilograms. It has a total of 5,600 watts since dual hub siya, which translates to more acceleration and more torque. So I guess hindi ito magkakaproblema sa mga inclines or slopes, even up to 45 degrees or 50 degrees in torque. The max speed according sa manual is 99 kilometers per, per hour, pero I'm assuming that's without any load or wala nakasakay. And uh, the fastest, honestly, na napatakbo ko to is only around 60 km per hour dahil medyo kinakabahan pa ako dahil bago pa ako sa mundo ng electric scooter. Pero nakapanood tayo or nakahiram tayo ng video kung saan pinapakita dito na napatakbo nila to up to 80 km per hour. So panoorin muna natin to. Reveal, 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 speed reveal, race 
Taurus. 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 Ilan daw? 80. Wow! So huge shout out kay Erjan na Motor EVP sa pagpapahiram ng video. And please consider subscribing to his channel na rin. I'll post the link down on the description. With the 18AH battery na meron si Race Taurus, you can go as far as 50 or 60 kilometers in one charge. Pero syempre, depende pa rin yan sa road condition, sa weight ng rider, and kung paano mo siya patakbuhin or kung gaano kabilis. Now for the pros and cons na nakikita ko para sa Race Taurus. Unang pro is since 5,600 watts siya at dual hub, eh hindi hindi ka neto bibitinin sa mga pahon. So big shout out sa mga taga ng Baliches, alam nyo na ibig sabihin ko. So para sa atin talaga tong iskut na to. Para sa second pro na nakikita ko, the tire and yung combination niya with the suspension is very ideal sa mga roads natin dito sa Pinas. For the third pro is yung tubeless tires na meron to. Dagdagan mo lang to ng tire sealant and I promise you, mababawasan ang hassle mo sa everyday travel. Fourth pro na nakikita ko is yung clearance niya due to the design of the suspension and the tires. Hindi mo dito po problemahin yung mga humps sa kalsada na munti ka na maging pader. Now, for the cons. Una na dyan, eh, since mabigat ang scooter na to, hindi siya ideal kung nakatira ka sa second floor and everyday mo siya kailangan bitbitin. Unless, nagpapalaki ka ng muscle. Second con na nakikita ko is, though may brake light and signal light siya sa likod, eh, wala siyang continuous blinker which could make you more visible sa night or sa night rides. More visibility means more safety. Next is really not a con but more of a recommendation. Since mabigat yung scooter and mabilis yung scooter, I think it's gonna be much better kung meron siyang fixed handlebar na kagaya na ito na for mountain bike instead of having the folding mechanism. So, for the big question, magkano nga ba si Race Taurus? Mabibili mo siya sa Motor EVP for the price of 44,999 pesos, which in reality is affordable pa rin compared sa mga other models with the same specs. Meron din siyang kasamang upuan, um, charger, and free helmet. And hindi lang yan. Kung gagamitin mo ang code na hashtag TO500 is you could get a 500 peso discount sa Motor EVP sa kahit anong model or product na bibilin mo sa kanila. Again, that's hashtag TO500. So, may recommend ko ba to sa mga katambay? Um, given the price and the pros and cons, I think, yes, uh, may recommend ko pa rin to. Pero it still depends sa budget mo and kung saan mo siya gagamitin. And kung hindi ka nakatira sa second floor. So mga katambay, ano sa tingin nyo sa price and um, specs niya? Pasado ba sa inyo or okay lang? Please let me know sa comment section at pagkuntuan tayo. Salamat sa pagsama sa akin sa second episode ng Tambay Opinions Electric Scooter Adventures. Huge shoutout again sa Motor EVP sa pagpayag sa discount para sa mga subscribers ng Tambay Opinions. I'll post the link below para sa Facebook page nila kung u-order kayo and please, ilike mo na din ang page nila. Again, huwag kalimutan ang code na hashtag TO500 para sa 500 pesos discount. Big shoutout din sa mga katoro ko sa Race, Taurus, and XT Guild. Kay Michael Robles, at Sahagun, Will Soriano, Oxy Oxy, Rodel Lardizabal, Kai Salinda, Luca, Jeremiah Mendoza, and kay JJ Taguba. RS lagi at tuloy-tuloy lang paglason. Kung naaliw ka katambay sa content na to, eh, please consider subscribing to our channel and hit mo na rin yung notification bell para updated ka lagi sa mga bago naming episodes. For our next episode, pag-usapan natin ang mga accessories na dinagdag or pinalitan ko sa e-scooter na to and konting tips na rin para sa mga baguhan sa e-scooter world. So make sure na samahan nyo ako next episode and uh, kita-kita ulit tayo. Tambay Opinions, signing out.